a bigger and better dam indeed. Sorry, Taylor, no offense, but this is a spectacular dam, and this is so, so exciting to be on Chitwa. This is my first, oh, there you go, the hippo again. This is my first trip to Chitwa, and my first encounter with the Chitwa pod. No, that's not true. I have been to Chitwa once before, but that was during a rangers meeting, or a guides meeting, where we all meet once a month to discuss various things. This was my this is my very first proper venture onto Chitwa. Ah, as I said that they stopped. Of course they did. This is so exciting. This is what Arethusa Dam used to be like before this terrible, terrible drought. Uh, we've got the po the Chitwa pod of hippopotamuses. Hippopotami? Hippopotamuses? What is the plural? Hippopotamuses. Hippopotami. I feel like that's a made-up word that sounds right. A hippopotami. A pod of hippopotami. A pod of hippo. Let's just go with that, shall we? A pod of hippo. And it's lovely to see hippo once again. They've all abandoned us on Juma, but nobody could really blame them since there is so little water for them to lounge about in. And really, if you could come and lounge about in this waterhole, you probably wouldn't bother too much with the Juma pan. At least not yet. But with all of the rain that we've had, things are going to change and we're going to start getting the dams full once again. I'm sure there will be a tiny... What are those hippo doing at the back there, Dave? What on earth are you doing? Um, no, a little bit the one at the back there. Oh, it's they've chopped over there. I thought for a second we were going to get really lucky with hippos mating, but unfortunately not. Now, apparently, somewhere here, it's not just the massive hippopotamuses. It is, in fact, a giant crocodile somewhere around here. And, John, you wanted to know what the sort of average number of crocodiles would be per waterhole. On Juma, the average number is zero per waterhole. That doesn't mean that we couldn't encounter them at some point. Crocodiles can and do walk long distances over water. The the average number out here is probably one large crocodile or two large crocodiles and then a couple of much smaller ones. So I'm not quite sure exactly what the official average would be. I have still, in my year and a half working here, am I about to tell you a big fib? I don't think so. I don't think I've seen a crocodile in the northern Sabi sand. Have I seen a crocodile? No. I'm not. I'm, I'm not lying. I'm, well, accidentally lying. I've never seen a crocodile on in the time that I've been working for Wild Earth. And sorry to take your attention away from the hippo, but the Egyptian geese family is about to come and enter the water there on the edge there, Dave. How gorgeous is that? What did James say about them the last time he was here? They're a very robust family or something. I can't remember the exact word that he used. A very healthy looking family. So there we go. A, a pair of Egyptian goose and their little goslings all coming down for a drink. Hello little ones. You are too gorgeous. It's actually my first baby goslings of the season as well. So Chitwa Dam proving to be a truly exciting spot. And what a beautiful evening to be out here. The sun is shining. Colours are clear, the air feels clean, admittedly the dam is somewhat smelly, but other than that, all is glorious. It's beautifully green. Look at all of them. They seem to do it in a line. Look at this. Wait, let's see if they do it again. Oh no, they're all turned out synchronised drinking. Hey, you messed it up. You, at the end. You're not in sync. One more time. No, there's definitely no synchronisation happening here. <laughs> 